Fairfax County Public School District in Virginia finds itself caught in yet another controversy. A new report said the same school district that allegedly withheld National Merit Scholarships from their students due to equity issues is now barring white and Asian students from a college prep program. Joining me now, Fox Across America host Jimmy Fela. Jimmy. Let hey, 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 hey. Um, well, these, to be clear, these stories don't even apply to kids who get my grades. Mm. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, well, yeah. When you're talking about yes, honors, yes. when you're talking about college prep, like, stop it. Um, but the frustration here is that the kids who got my grades aren't so much being elevated as they're trying to tear down the kids above them. This is not a rising tide that lifts all boats. Let's get these students on a level with the higher academic achievers. Right. This is an attempt to bring down the overachievers, right. which in a global marketplace is actually unfair even to the kids at the bottom. Because if we're not teaching them to compete at the highest academic levels, they're not going to be prepared for the real well, world. Well, it's shocking to me. We did a story last night about how one of the schools in this same county was receiving funding from China, yeah. and they were bringing down those merit yeah. bars, right? So, of course, the Chinese want our kids to be stupid. That's why they they push the algorithms think, they do on TikTok. This. Think about this. Would, would, would the Yankees hire the Red Sox? to run their farm system. Yeah. No, no, because they wouldn't Definitely teach them how to catch not. ground balls and everything in between. But that's exactly what we're doing. We're like, hey, Boston, can you help the Yankees get better? They're like, we'd love to. And guess what happens? We get worse. All right, let's move on. Bang. Um, the author of the iconic Goosebumps series, mm. R. I. Stein, says his publisher made, quote, woke edits edits, pardon me, behind his back. Yes, which is outrageous. I'd be more upset by this if kids actually read books anymore. Oh, okay. Most, most, I have a kid. They're just staring at their phones all day. But this is ridiculous to me. And if you look at the words, like they edited words like plump. They don't want a kid reading plump. It's amazing that liberals don't want kids seeing words, but they'll have kids that age go to a drag show. Right. It's like, we don't want you hearing the word plump. At the library. But here's 20 yeah. bucks to go give to a guy named Cinnabons. You know, that's the part to me that's so ridiculous. It's interesting, though, the way they're attacking in this specific case. You know, you think about Disney, mm -hmm. how Disney made that push to go woke. It actually didn't end up being profitable for the company. No. And that's why Chapex out and Iger's in, mm -hmm. and he's going to try to write the ship now. Yeah, because they basically ignored the needs of their parent. Their parents are the customer, you know. And in this case, parents weren't concerned with that far left agenda. Okay, nobody, when you really talk about inclusion, if you're running Disney World, you're worried about inclusion, lower the price of a ticket. Right. There's more people being kept out of the park by the $130 price of admission than the pronouns. So a little birdie told me you have a new special. Oh, on Fox come Nation. on. Yes. Tell Let's me about it. Let's talk about it. It's called The Death of Hollywood. It is a four-part series streaming on Fox Nation now. Okay. And it chronicles the decline of Hollywood. And that, again, they've put their own ideology ahead of the needs of the customer. Yeah. The customer goes to the movies to escape the torments of everyday life. They can no longer do that because they're now getting lectured about inequality from a woman who's wearing a dress that costs more than your house, which is so ridiculous. Yeah. But that's, I think, the frustration with Hollywood. Is they, they're not in on the joke. Someone duped them into thinking we care what they have to say. I'll give you an example. Okay. I used to love the sex and, and the city series. I watched them all probably 10 times each every yeah. single episode. I watched the new one and I said, wow, you guys, you went woke. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's the part that's alienating so many people. Because, and I don't watch it anymore. No. And why would you? Because there's so many other places uh, where you can get politics injected into your life now. Right. And I think that's the frustration of the customer and it's why Hollywood is actually tanking. You're right. I'm actually watching that to try to escape yeah, because Os like there were hashtags like Oscars so white have now become like Oscars so what. Nobody cares. Yeah. The moral of the story is if you're running a business, if it ain't woke, don't fix it. Oh, Come Mike, on, Mike girl. Drop. Jimmy. Mic drop moment. Boom. We're going to leave it there because we just can't, can't outdo that. Jimmy Fela. You guys. Thank you so much. Stay right there. My two cents.